what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army, back in the vault, man. It's been a long, like, four days. For those who don't know, your boy was in Orlando since, what, Thursday night, man. It's Monday, and I went to Disney World. I went to Universal Studios yesterday, Army. I had a time now. When I was growing up, bro, I, I didn't go to Disney World. I didn't go to Universal Studios. So taking my daughter for the first time this past weekend, um, I was like a big kid too, bro. I met Wolverine yesterday, got on the Spider-Man ride at Universal, got on the Hulk ride. Now, the crazy thing is, Army, like, it was like 7 o'clock and the park closed at 8. And, like, as we were, you know, walking from the Harry Potter Army, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. For those who don't know, I'm Team Slytherin, you know what I'm saying, man? So, it's just so much to talk about, Army. I was a big kid, yo, this weekend. And I'm glad that I was able to experience that, man, because it's just like, I don't really, I vacate Army. Like, this is like the first year, like, I really vacate, man. As far as just as grinding, working hard, and all that stuff, Army, I'm, I'm really just starting to, like, really get out there to travel outside of traveling for an event. It's a different. I've traveled all over the world as far as sneaker events, but just as far as leisure, family time, I'm just now starting to do that, man. But the Hulk ride was crazy. You know, leaving out the Harry Potter exhibit, a lady stopped us and she was like, hey, I'm going to bless y'all. She gave us free lightning passes. So I, mean, I had a great time, man. Made some great memories. You know, and then I get back home, I'm just like, up, oh, it's back to shoes. It's back to sneakers army. The Air Jordan 3 Fears, I want to say, in-store exclusive access happened today. And I was actually getting on a plane, or we are about to take off. Or was it I was coming back home? I can't even remember, y'all. It's been a long day. I done took a nap, all that stuff. But long story short, when I did check to see if my store still had pairs, only size 13 and 14 were gone. So, it's just that time right now where I told y'all where a lot of stuff ain't really moving because, man, it's holiday time, retro 11 time, but this Friday, Army, this Friday is going down. I will be having my first whatnot for the month of November, Black Friday, and no other way to do it than to do it big. And when we were live, I was like, what shoes y'all want? I'm going to have some Lost and Founds. I'm going to have some Air Jordan 3 Reimagines, and I'm giving away. I'm giving away a pair, either Lost and Founds or Reimagined Army. May do two pair. I haven't thought of it. I haven't planned it all just yet. But I should be going live with my boy Conceited. And if you do purchase a Conceited UBK Cut the Beat Whatnot Collab T, it enters you into the giveaway for a free pair, either Lost and Founds or a free pair of Reimagines or a free pair of SB4s. I haven't even thought of which one I want to do yet. You know, I've seen it complex. They talking about the SB4 as a sneaker of the year. So maybe I'm going to give away the sneaker of the year for Black Friday. I don't know, Army, but again, if you purchase one of these t-shirts, and I, I don't know, I would probably do a t-shirt like 15 bucks, 10, 15 bucks. You purchase a t-shirt, you enter into a free giveaway for a pair of the Air Jordan for SBs, the Lost of Fouls. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Do y'all want a free pair of reimagines? Do you want a free pair of Lost and Founds, or do you want a free pair of SB4s? Or maybe whoever the winner is, I just let them decide. I ain't came up with the full plan army again. I'm just now getting home. You know, I'm trying to get through all the shoe stuff. I want to say the Air Jordan 13 Weeks. Did the Weeks drop yet? Do they drop tomorrow? I, I got to get back up on speed with all of, like, all the releases and stuff. But again, army, that's Friday. Going down. What not? Uh, uh. Breakable Kicks, Conceited Collab, Cut the Beat, you buy a shirt, you enter to the giveaway for a pair of free sneaker ready I also got this shirt in white too, I just grabbed a black one. So Army, right, make sure you click the link in the description section below and bookmark the one not live stream. Now look, <sighs> can't believe I'm even saying this. If you have yet to sign up with Whatnot, the link above the bookmark link is the link you need to sign up, sign up with Whatnot. You get fifteen dollars off your first purchase, so that's going down. I'm still gonna have other stuff, lost and founds. Might have to hit a flight, get some more stuff coming in, army. But it should be a good time. Also, army, last call for alcohol. Tomorrow gonna be the last day I'll be able to get out Air Jordan Eleven gratitude. So if you need them before the holiday, 
I highly advise you to hit me up on IG. Ahora, now, hit me up now if y'all need them joints before Black Friday, before Thanksgiving. Hit your boy up, ASAP Army. Joints are going out, and you will have them joints next day. So, again, Fear 3s. What Fear 3s dropped this upcoming Saturday, I want to say, or I think it is the 25th that the Fear 3s drop. The weeks, I want to say those drop tomorrow too, Army. So, we still got a sneaker feel week. Also, the Air Jordan 5 I'm on my year, the Dust Colorway drops on my year website, and I, I, I knew this one was going to kind of, you know, get a little bit of people talking, Army. I made a post yesterday, and I was just like, and, and, and I just felt like more people was going to go with the off-white side. I'm like, which collab has been good? And I only want to talk about the fives. Was it the off-white Air Jordan 5s, the metallic colorway and the sail colorway, or is the Amomir Dawn and Dust colorway? Both beautiful collabs. Both, it's, it's almost hard to pick which one, but I've seen a lot of people going with the off-whites over the Meijer collab, man. I don't know if it's because of the off-white name, but I feel like people are just too quick to just say off-white. Like, you really got to look and dissect both sneakers, man. Both sneakers mean a lot to the sneaker community, and I don't want people to just be like, instantly off-white. Like, if, if off-white is your main choice, and I get it, but, but really try to dissect both sneakers, man. The both sneaker collabs, y'all. Needless to say, both did great things for the sneaker community, man. Both of them collabs, bro, they top-notch. From off-white, from even the ones, the fours, the fives were off-whites in the whole of my year, you know, collection. Both of them are dope collection army. So let me know in the comment section below. Off-whites or my year. If I had to pick one, y'all, because I didn't pick one yesterday. I did say that my year has been... Man, consistent. The ones were good. The twos were good. The threes, the fours, the fives, the twelves. Like my year really haven't missed, bro. And we talking about Jordans. My year haven't missed. Now I'm not talking about resale, bro, because that's the first thing a lot of people want to dictate when you know when it comes to which sneaker is better, which one got higher. Now, let's take away price in general. Which collab is just better? And you really can't say any of the my years were trash. And when it comes to the off-white Jordans, pretty much the same, Army. So this, to me, those are the two greatest collabs, y'all. And the best thing about it, it's not like an Eminem collab, or undefeated collab, where these are $30,000, $40,000 sneakers. Like, yeah, the off-white Forge is like a $2,000 sneaker, which is still crazy expensive, but it's still obtainable. You know what I'm saying? Like, Let's just say you got five pairs of military black sitting down. You could potentially trade those for a pair of off-white. You know, if you got them for retail, you're spending like a stack. Still a lot of money on you, but these collabs are obtainable for you to have in your collection. So, again, let me know that. Now, to the end of what I want to talk about, Army, we got another potential shot drop. And this one right here is pretty cool, man. They giving us the Kobe Grinches. Now, the question was, would you like a shot drop? Or exclusive access. Now you gotta ask yourself this, right? What's the friggin' odds you getting exclusive access? And then I want I'm not trying to persuade y'all to vote any kind of way. Most of y'all already seen this, cause I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Jet lag, I took a nap. We woke up at 3 a.m. Eastern time. So this is two o'clock my time to get on the plane. You know what I'm saying? Or to head to the airport. So your boy was tired. I definitely needed that nap, man. When I woke up, I say, oh, snaps. You know what I'm saying? Now, the thing is, Army, I don't know exactly when. I want to say that the Kobe is supposed to drop, like, mid-December. Anywhere from, like, the, I want to say, like, the 12th through the 16th Army. Something around that time. I know they do drop after the Air Jordan 11s. So, maybe we get a shot drop on those two weeks before. So, after Thanksgiving, maybe the first week of December. You know, just throwing those dates up there. But it would be nice. And here it is right here, straight from Sneaker Twitter Army. I told y'all, y'all need to be following Sneaker Twitter. And it says, if we release a Kobe 6 Pro Tro Reverse early, which launch method would you prefer? And again, y'all, I'm going shock drop. I got a better chance of getting a shock drop dub. Now, seeing how this is a Kobe, they may do a shock drop draw. 
Kind of how like they deal with them Neapolitans. And a lot of people took L's on those. I'm not the biggest fan of the shot drop draw. I just rather just be a regular shot drop. Now, do you got to worry about body and all that? Yes. That's one thing. But I'd rather take my chance against bots than to take my chance with sneakers that have given me exclusive access. Sneakers that have not given me exclusive access for these. So I'd rather go ahead and go against Bumblebee, Megatron, Optimus Prime, and, and all the other Autobots. I'd rather, you know, and Decepticons. I'd rather take my chances of going against them than depending on Nike to give me exclusive access, Army. So this will be the next big shot drop and probably going to be the last one of 2023 man and a lot of people like these and surprisingly i got a text regarding these and mugs want 700 early form yes pairs are out now with boxes like a while ago it was no box pairs you go to sneaker event you ain't seeing nobody with box pairs people got box pairs and they want box pair prices right now so i'm seeing uppers of 700 for these joints right now so again i rather take my chances with a shock drop, then exclusive access. Also, my gear. I did get a shipping notification saying that my shoes have shipped out, Army. So, hey, make sure y'all go. But no, this was for one of the raffles. Remember, the Army has sent me a link for one of the raffles. So the raffle pairs are already out. Raffle pairs are already shipping out. The pairs from Friday, which is crazy because if you was there during the live, you know, they wind up dropping the pairs an hour early, then wind up canceling everybody early. So if you did wind up getting a raffle notification, and this member of the Army sent me the raffle notification, I want to say a day or two before Friday. No, I think it was Thursday, but it wasn't my size. So if I took an L on Friday, I was going to trade for them. But most of us did wind up getting the dub. And the crazy thing is... Them joints even sat for a little bit. Like, most were like, oh, they sitting, but the price is still in that three to three fifty, depending on the size. Now, here's the thing, though. That price is definitely going to drop once Sneakers App drop their pairs, because Sneakers App may wind up shipping out our pairs first, and then we get the My Year pairs from Friday later. Or oh, y'all know how it is, bro. I just always feel like Sneakers App pairs always get here first. So once some sneakers out pairs get here, once my year pairs get here, mud's gonna be selling them, moving them. Y'all know how the thing go. But then again, a lot of people like these joints army, so it's gonna be interesting because for those to sit for however long they sat, there wasn't an instant set. Like y'all know I was having issues because they changed the domain, and then you couldn't just do like shop pay. You actually had to manually enter everything. Took me like six, seven minutes to get everything in, but I still was able to secure my pair. So it wasn't like it was extremely tough on Friday. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what these do once everybody do get these pairs in hand. But, oh, man, Army, that's about it. Good to be back in front of the camera. Good to be back talking to you guys about sneakers. I went days without, I want to say days without talking about sneakers. I hit y'all with a little IG post or something like that. But it definitely is good to be back in the vault. Don't forget, Black Friday started early for Soul Premise. 70% off. Y'all, if y'all been checking out my IG, y'all been seeing 70% off certain Soul Premise bags. Rejuvenated got some crazy stuff going on. Outrank brand always got deals. All of the links is in the description section below, Army. So make sure y'all take advantage of it. And again, do not forget, I got the black and white shirts for myself and conceited. Whatnot live stream, Army, this Friday, Black Friday, going down, giving away some sneakers. Go have some sneakers, Army. I might move some of my double ups. I got double up in Concord, double up in Breads. It all depends on how your boy feel. We spent a bag. At Disney, y'all. Hear me now. We spent the bag. So some stuff that I'm like, oh, I plan on holding. Hey, because, Army, it costs $500 just to get in Universal Studios for one day. And mind you, we didn't get to the park to like three because we ain't know what we was going to do on our last day. So $500 for like four hours. But it, it still was a great time. No, we was there for like, I think we left the park around like four and a half, five hours, Army. So uh, $100 an hour. But I, I was telling my wife, I'm just like, bro, just imagine, and I'm just talking about Disney. Just imagine how much money they make a day. Like, you can just look at it, and Army, maybe because, like, Unbreakable Kicks LLC, the business, me. I just think, like, I told my wife, like, mother's paying, like, $35 just for Mickey Mouse 
ears. And then I was looking around, I'm like, for every 20 people, it's about 14 people with Mickey Mouse ears. So they probably making a million dollars a day just off Mickey Mouse ears, not including food, not including merch, tickets. Like, they bringing in, man, maybe three, four million dollars a day? And that could just be on a slow day, yo. Like, this crazy army. But needless to say, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. See y'all Friday for whatnot. If anything else come up, Army, y'all know I'm being in front of this camera. Again, Army, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army says, Sean, like always, most importantly, hug your loved ones and, of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get him easy. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.